Hi, I'm Jeff Sachs, director of the Earth Institute at Columbia University, and also director on behalf of UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon of the new United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network, or SDSN. And it's a pleasure to uh, be coming virtually to the meeting of the uh, Brazil uh, Academy of Sciences uh, to spend a couple of minutes discussing the importance of the new SDSN Amazonia uh, that uh, Virgilio Viana uh, and Emma Torres of the UNDP and other colleagues uh, are launching. And I really thank the Brazilian Academy of Sciences for its support and look forward to its very, very active participation in this new wonderful venture. The UN Sustainable Development Solutions Network is a new initiative of uh, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, and I'm very honored to, to direct it. It is an initiative that was born out of Rio Plus 20. At Rio Plus 20, the world's governments got together, took a view of sustainable development, saw that not all was good because uh, most importantly the great uh, goals and achievements of the Rio Earth Summit in 1992 simply have not been carried out uh, in the way that uh, we need and that the world had hoped. So in 1992 when three big treaties were adopted on climate change, biodiversity, uh, and uh, combating desertification. Uh, at Rio Plus 20, it was clear that these three treaties have not yet worked. And my view is that the most important thing that came out of the Rio Plus 20 summit, in addition to the evaluation, was a decision that sustainable development needs to be put at the very center of the global development agenda after 2015 and supported by a clear set of Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. And I believe these SDGs, to follow the Millennium Development Goals, or MDGs, will be a great historic contribution of Brazil and of the Rio Plus 20 Summit to the world. My feeling is that if we get strong, sustainable development goals in the post-2015 development agenda, this will inspire the world in a much more powerful way to truly take on the challenges of combating climate change, of protecting biological diversity, of avoiding the desertification of the world's drylands. So I really commend Brazil for its leadership uh, and uh, things do go back to Rio and Rio Plus 20 and the SDGs that will follow. Now Ban Ki-moon created the Sustainable Development Solutions Network in the wake of Rio Plus 20 to help uh, create a global knowledge network that can support the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. And through a leadership council that uh, includes many Brazilian leaders, including Virgilio Viana, including uh, Israel Klabin, uh, including uh, uh, Vale uh, and uh, uh, its uh, uh, wonderful sustainability uh, vice president uh, um, Vanya Somovia. Uh, we have a strong partnership uh, in Brazil uh, that is uh, promoting sustainable development and is supporting the Sustainable Development Solutions Network. One of the decisions we took early on was that in addition to a global uh, participation of leading universities, think tanks, and businesses like Vale, we should also create regional SDSNs or regional units uh, of uh, this new network in which we could have intensified cooperation on regional problems. I'm uh, just coming back from the launch of the Southeast Asia Sustainable Development Solutions Network uh, that was uh, launched at the APEC meeting in Bali, Indonesia. Uh, we have a regional network embracing the Mediterranean region, both Southern Europe and North Africa and the Levant, uh, the Eastern Mediterranean, uh, which presents a an ecosystem that has uh, an integrated 
uh, set of issues connecting all of uh, those countries. Now we have this wonderful initiative of uh, Virgilio Viana and Emma Torres uh, and uh, many colleagues to launch the SDSN Amazonia. And the idea, of course, is to create a knowledge network of uh, Brazilian and uh, other Amazonian uh, country institutions, especially universities, think tanks, national laboratories, academies of science, and leading businesses to promote sustainable development in the Amazon basin. And uh, what's so exciting about this is that it will bring together all of the countries of the Amazon basin, uh, Brazil and its uh, many neighbors, to protect what is, of course, and I don't have to tell you, one of the world's most important uh, ecosystems, uh, one of the world's most uh, treasured, uh, valued uh, regions of biodiversity, and of course a, a, a region, a vast region, of absolutely central, vital importance for the whole normal functioning of, of uh, the Earth's ecosystems because what happens in the Amazon doesn't stay in the Amazon. It affects the entire climate system, uh, global circulation uh, of, uh, of uh, water uh, and uh, of uh, global effects on uh, biodiversity, on weather patterns, uh, and many, many uh, other dimensions uh, of, uh, of uh, ecosystem performance. Virgilio and Emma uh, have taken on the challenge of uh, organizing the leading uh, knowledge institutions in the Amazon and will now inaugurate the uh, SDSN Amazonia at several different levels uh, from community-based leadership, how to help uh, often very poor, often indigenous communities in the Amazon for their own decent lives, for health, for education, for their capacities uh, in farming or other economic activities, uh, for their role in protecting the uh, biosphere and protecting the uh, ecosystems in which they live. So community-based, uh, inventing new models of uh, community-led development. Also understanding how the Amazon uh, more generally can be developed uh, in a sustainable manner. Uh, I don't have to tell you uh, of the continuing challenges and uncertainties, the number of projects, issues of infrastructure, issues of hydro power, and other choices that Brazil and its neighbors face in how to manage the Amazon in a sustainable way. And of course we need the best of science to understand how global change is affecting the Amazon because we know, sad to say, that even if all of the Amazonian countries strongly act to protect the Amazon, the Amazon basin is going to be threatened by global change as well. A warming climate could mean a drying Amazon, for example. Uh, we know that global circulation patterns will change and threaten uh, the Amazon uh, in ways that we've seen, for example, in extreme drought years uh, in uh, recent times. So all of this is to say that a knowledge-based sustainable development of the Amazon is of huge importance for Brazil, for all of the Amazonian countries, and for the world. It's wonderful that we have such strong leadership uh, with the Virgilio Viana, uh, with Emma Torres, with the colleagues uh, around the Amazon basin, with Brazil's remarkable institutions. And I know I can count on the Brazilian uh, Academy of Sciences as well for its huge inputs. And please do count on me uh, to bring to bear uh, whatever I can in my capacity as both director of the Earth Institute and also director of the UN Sustainable Development Solutions Network. Uh, we love the Amazon and want to protect it and want to work uh, together with you to help uh, ensure that we do. Thanks a lot for letting me join the discussion. I very much look forward to hearing the results of the deliberation and I look forward to 
being together with you in Brazil very soon. Thanks a lot.